Okay, so today we have all learned of Nicola Sturgeon's resignation, the announcement of her resignation. That's something that I very much regret. I think as a, as a colleague, as a friend, um, we've had a very close working relationship over many, many years. We've many shared interests and there's no doubt in my mind that she will always be regarded as one of the most formidable leaders of our generation. She leaves a legacy of compassion, I think, in Scotland, a, a legacy of strength, a legacy of standing up to the Tories and a legacy of advancing independence in Scotland. Well, I wouldn't agree with your last assertion, so I think that Scottish independence is very much on the cards and I think that Nicola leaves a legacy of someone who has advanced that cause. It's something that we share, an interest that we share in terms of independence. And I think that she certainly can be very proud of the legacy that she leaves behind. Not least the fact that she has outserved five British Prime Ministers. Not least the fact that she has been the first female Scottish First Minister. She is the longest serving Scottish First Minister. So I think for anybody in public life to leave the stage when you have achieved all of that is something to be rightly proud of and something that I certainly look on to and be rightly proud of what she's achieved. Yeah, I think Nicola was very honest in her... Uh, offering up her own personal experience. There's no doubt leadership takes its toll on anybody. There's no doubt that it's a very tough station. There's no doubt that at times it's a very lonely station. It's very challenging. It's also equally very rewarding. And I think in all these things it's in life, it's about trying to strike a balance. So I think her assessment of it is something that I definitely could concur with. Um, and in the world that we live in today, it's 24 seven. If you miss something on social media, you're the worst in the world. You know, it's just, it's very hard to keep up with everything that's happening. But it is the reality of the world we live in now. So I think for anybody in, in a leadership role, that's always going to be a challenge. And it, it does, uh, you know, definitely take its toll on people personally because at the end of the day, we're all human. You know, we all have families. We all have lives that we try to at least strike some sort of balance on an odd day. Um, so I definitely, and I think most political leaders would uh, recognise a lot of what Nicola Sturgeon said today and understand it very much so.